Hello, and uh, this is episode 7 of Terra Firmacraft. I'm going to go ahead and let you guys know now that I'm actually recording this separately because I accidentally messed up with the uh, microphone. Uh, I accidentally had it muted for this episode and then the next one I recorded. So for the those two episodes, I'm going to be dubbing them over pro uh, in post-production, or now. Uh, but in this episode, basically, we get our first ceramic vessel full of copper, and we are going to be casting our first copper pickaxe head. Off camera, I actually went around and found uh, more ore, which at the time of this part of the recording, I had no idea what it was. But it all turned out to be extremely valuable to us. Uh, and uh, I also found out that I had pig iron, the hematite, uh, which will be made into pig iron. The uh, sphalerite is zinc, which at the time I thought had no use, but is used for... Uh, <clears throat> we will be using it for uh, bismuth bronze. Uh, and then Gela, which is, or Galena, however you pronounce it, which is, uh, lead, which I also thought had no use, and I'm pretty sure still does have no use. Uh, but, in this episode, we get our first pickaxe, and, uh, everything's all amazing and stuff, you know. <clears throat> there we are crafting our first pickaxe, and, uh, we cook the large vessel, which we can now use to store our items in as a uh, since we can't make chests yet ah uh, but yeah we're going to be storing our large hides in there or not we're going to be storing our leftover ore in there um all the stuff we don't need basically on our person at the time and we're going to go out and uh mine those ore veins uh, by the time we get back, we should have, uh, there we can see, uh, I'm pointing out the surface ore. We're going to go to the closest one first, as always, because I'm lazy. Uh, our nice shiny copper pickaxe, you know. Now, uh, a lot of this video is just going to be me in the dark mining, and I'm sorry for that, uh. I'm not too sure how to lighten it up. Also, we got, we got carrots, too, because carrots is good. Uh, now, we could make ourselves an anvil and start mining, or not mining, uh, shaping out our actual copper items. And uh, at the end of the next episode, our bismuth bronze items. No, 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 no. Sorry, 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 sorry. We, we just figured out how to... No, we got the stuff to make them next. I don't remember. We will, f we'll, we'll find out. Uh, but a lot of the stuff that we found is actually going to turn out to be copper. So we're going to have plenty of copper. We'll be able to make a copper anvil or a bismuth bronze anvil eventually, once we get bismuth. Um, as you can see here, we have ore, and it turns out it's tetrahedrite, which is copper. And it's not just small pieces of it like we were finding before. These are larger chunks of tetrahedrite, which we'll be using to make more copper, more bronze, more brass, all kinds of stuff. And brass does have a use, I found out. It's used in the production of one of the later steels, one of the red, blue, or black steels. I believe it's red steel that it goes into. Uh, but, yeah. <clears throat> So much tetrahedrite, and I had I made sure to be thorough. I think I got a lot of it, or all of it if possible. Uh, but we probably have some more hiding around later on that I'll probably come back to if I can find these sites again. Sadly, after uh, my microphone crap not crapped out, after I had the microphone muted for this whole hour worth of recording, uh, um my game crashed and we lost the uh and because I hadn't saved or anything before I started this recording or before after I had done all the uh 
off-camera searching and stuff to find these ore veins, uh, we lost all of the, uh, waypoint, not waypoints, uh, mark, uh, mini-map markers that I had made that go around. So all these spots you're not going to, we're probably not going to find again unless we just come across them on accident. Uh, because I honestly don't remember where they are. And I'm also, I want to apologize for the, there not being any new episodes lately. Um, I've just, I haven't ever dubbed over an episode, and I've been dreading it that I wouldn't be good enough, and I don't think I have done good enough for this. But let's hope that I have. Um, I really, really hope that I have done good enough for it. Uh, also, once we actually go inside caves, and st not caves, uh, where we're mining out the ore, because there is a part where we go inside of a mountain where we've mined out, uh, it's going to get really dark, and I'm sorry about that. I hadn't thought about that before. It seemed bright enough to me while playing it, but then watching it again, it turns out it's super dark. So, uh, I brightened up. I, I raised the brightness in my game, I think, during this episode, if not next episode. Um, but yeah, tetrahedrite. Now, a lot of this isn't going to be me talking much, because I honestly don't know what to say. Um, part of me just wanted to combine both episodes into one and speed it up so that you guys got the idea of what went on, but without the commentary. And, uh, now that I'm recording it, I think I'm going to go ahead and keep it. Let me get a drink of water real quick. Oh, um, also, I believe it's either during this episode or the next one, my phone goes off. You won't hear it, though, because it came through my microphone, but it was a friend of mine, and, uh, after I had told her that she, uh, messaged me during a recording, she asked for a shout-out, so, uh, shout-out to Daphne. There you go. Hope you're happy now. She wanted me to say something. Uh, uh, hold on. Um, but, uh, as you can see now, we're going off to, uh, lots of surface ore, apparently, which I believe is more copper. Um, if I remember correctly, she, uh, I don't remember. Um, it was so long ago. I've, I'm making, I'm dubbing over this a long time after I had, uh, after I had, uh, recorded the actual episode. Um, Okay, uh... Now, uh... We're just gonna start walking over there. The horse meat, we notice, is actually starting to decay a little bit. So we just need to, uh... Eat that some. You know, eat that first because it's, de it's decaying. Now, uh, more tetrahedrite. There's not really much to comment about. It's just uh, tetrahedrite and lots of rocks. Ah. Uh. Also, guys, I wanted to know, I'm sure a lot of the people that watch these have already said that they wanted to see this. I think I'm going to stop the Gary's Mod videos for now, because there's not really much I can do. Uh, I could just play Prop Hunt with Sassy a lot, but at the same time, I could also be doing Wire Mod tutorials, but those just take a lot. Oh, look, first cave-in ever terrified me at the time. I had no idea what that was. Uh, I could just do more wire mod tutorials, but at the same time, I don't really want to. 
you know. Don't know why, guys. I'm sorry. I just, I don't want to do more wire mod tutorials, nor do I just want to, uh... Sorry, I got distracted. Um, I just don't want to do wire mod tutorials anymore. I mean, I've only done one, and it didn't turn out the greatest. I hope that it helps some people learn how to make a little RC tank that's overpowered. Um, because you saw it, uh, it one shot a group of ant lions. Um, I actually want to start a Skyrim Let's Play, legendary difficulty, 100%ing it. That's right, I want to play Skyrim, get 100% playthrough on the Legendary difficulty. And I hope you guys will enjoy it, because I've already planned on doing it, and I will be using some mods. I'm, I'm sorry, I will be. If you don't like mods, I'm sorry, I like them. Um... The mods I'll be using, there's one of them that changes smelting a little bit. Uh, basically what it allows you to do is smelt down weapons and armor and uh, the dwarven parts into uh, ingots. And I like that a lot because uh, I like hoarding crafting materials. Um, if, yeah. Uh, I have all three DLCs, so we'll be building ourselves a house and such. Um, also, I got a mod for the actual house DLC that will allow us to get a uh, blacksmith, uh, a crafting room basement. And basically what that'll do is, like, we'll have this one big room with several shelves on it, and each shelves will have all of our uh, ingots displayed as items stacked up all nice and neat. And that's what I liked about it, namely, was that I could have all these amazing crafting materials stacked up uh, and displayed as items. Um, I have a bow called the Get Over Here bow, and basically it's just a, it's a stupid mod. That it does no damage, but it'll pull, uh, it'll pull aggressive and passive NPCs towards you. And scream, get over here, obviously. Um, and, uh, let's see, what's another one? Dragons spawn more frequently, a lot. They will spawn uh, ten times as much, if I remember if that's the one I got. Um, there's a ring mod that replaces the gold ring with a, uh, the crafted gold ring, might I add, with, uh, yeah one that makes you a more powerful mage, and that will be what I play, is I will be playing a mage, um, Dark Elf. I'll be recreating my character from D&D, &D, from Dungeons and, Dungeons and Dragons. That's my plan. Uh, now, uh, what I'm talking about in here is, uh, on the, what you see now, R9, or GR9, however you want to pronounce it, uh, I said that uh, it's it's great that we had all this luck with getting all these materials. No, wait, it's more than great. It's granine, just like my friend Destiny says. Uh, and uh. Yeah, as you can just see here, more mining in the rain, in the dark. Uh, I believe shortly after this, I raised the brightness because I realized how dark, it, how actually dark it is while I'm recording. Um, accidentally threw my carrot. This might be slightly out of sync by a second or two. Uh, it's just hard to press both the play and stop or start recording button at the same time, you know. Actually, they're like two seconds out of sync. One or two seconds. One and a half, maybe. Um, <coughs> now, uh, 
Video's actually almost over. Mm, never mind, there's nine more minutes left. Um, um, I am going to be recording, or dubbing over this on the day that uh, I upload it. Because that's just how I'm doing it. Um, one of my viewers, or one of my only viewers, the one that actually asks me when new episodes are coming out, uh, his birthday is coming up, so uh, happy birthday. And uh, happy birthday to the other viewer. Uh, I don't know if she watches that much, but uh, hopefully she does so she can see it that. Uh, happy birthday to you, too. Uh, yeah, getting the last of the tetrahedrite. I believe that's the last of it. No, nope, there's more up there. That's right. I tried to stack blocks on top of each other to climb up, and I failed. Um, Yeah, and I kept going, even though I saw that I was failing at it. I'm so smart, aren't I, guys? So smart. 10 out of 10. Um. But yeah, as you can see there, there's just a couple more pieces left, so I'll be getting that and, uh, we're going to be moving towards our next one. And I believe it's over there that we find more hematite. Uh, I'm not sure if I actually walked, I'm pretty sure I walked this episode, actually all the way over there, but, um, I still don't know what it, why it is that, uh, mobs don't spawn, like, at all. Or hostile mobs, I mean, I mean, poss uh, possums? Uh, passive mobs spawn just fine, whereas hostile ones seem to not spawn at all, and I have no clue why, guys. It's probably a fault on my fault. Um, it's been a long time since I've played Terraform Craft, so they might may have updated it. Oh, look, more uh, tetrahedrite. We're already there. Um, what to say? What to say? I don't remember what it. I, I would just be saying exactly what I said when recording this video, except I don't remember it because I waited so long to. Uh, dub over it. Like, if I had done it the next day, you guys would have had an episode six days ago, and, uh, yeah, I would have remembered what I was going to say. Um, I will actually be trying to co do a cosplay, and it's a very complex cosplay, at least for me. Uh, I've done a few, kind of. Not really. And uh, if you guys want to see it, uh, or you want to see me making it, I don't have a camera, so I'm sorry, but if you want to see it once it's done, like at the end of a video or whatever, I can try and do that. Um, uh, but yeah, five minutes left to talk and a half minutes left on the video. I don't know what to say. We're just mining tetrahedrite. Um, Cavens become more and more prevalent the deeper you go, I notice. Um, I don't notice uh, very many cavens when you're just, like, strip mining like you would in normal Minecraft. Oh yeah, this is rich human, uh, not human type, tetrahedrite. Um, I believe it is at least. I hope it is. Uh, yeah.
Yeah, it is. Um. Now, uh. I'm so sorry about that. Uh, I was interrupted after I told everyone in the house that I was doing this, and uh, I'm still interrupted. So uh, hopefully, I, hopefully that didn't ruin it. I thought about just scrapping the recording right there and then, and just trying again. But I don't think it was that big of a problem. I muted my mic, and uh, yes, it's unmuted. Good. All right. Didn't I don't need to scrap the recording. Um, besides, there's not really much to comment about right now. Uh, just mining stone and hematite, and there's some more, uh, more hematite there. Not fuck. Not hematite. Tetrahedrite. God damn. Words English. I want hematite. That's why. I, I want to find hematite. Now, I'm not sure if I'll be dubbing over the second episode or not. Um, hopefully I will be. Because in that one, I believe we make, uh... Is it that one we make bismuth bronze? I don't know. Let me check real quick. Hmm. Maybe I did bismuth bronze off camera. I hope I did Nah, surely I did it next episode. Um. But yeah, here you can just see me getting the last of this. Um. Maybe I just forgot to name the episode. That might have been it. Yeah, that looks like what happened is I just forgot to name the episode. So I remember correctly, the uh, audio wasn't fucked up on that one. Um. Alright, uh, we're getting close to the end of the episode. Um, just scraping together the last of the hematite. Tetrahedrite, not hematite. This is an iron, it's copper. Um... That's almost the last of it, and then once we get the last of it, we can, uh, I think I start walking home, or I collect some extra pieces of hematite, and then I just cut it there, uh, yeah. But yeah, as you can see there, we've got a lot of tetrahedrite, plenty of ingots worth, um, more than enough for a lot of the stuff we need. We will be making a copper anvil eventually, we just need to find flux because it requires double ingots. Um, I'm doing one last sweep over. Yeah, that's it, we got all of it. Yep. And, uh, until next time.